from Crow holding grudges against Cruz to them fighting it out like wild animals, here's why Russell Crowe hates Hollywood heartthrob Tom Cruise. So Tom, as famous and beloved as he may be, isn't everyone's cup of tea. Yep, believe it or not, there are actually some A-list celebrities who aren't too fond of him. From Mark Wahlberg to Brad Pitt, there are a select few who might not have a soft spot for the Hollywood icon. But you know what's even more surprising? One of those celebrities used to be his co-star, Russell Crowe. That's right, the gladiator himself once had a spot on that list of Tom Cruise naysayers, and you won't believe the reason why. Apparently, Crowe couldn't stand the man because of how he treated Nicole Kidman, his ex-wife. Now that's some serious tea right there. I mean, we all know that Tom and Nicole were once one of Hollywood's golden couples, but it seems like things weren't always as perfect as they appeared on the surface and they kind of got a little messy, which Russell didn't approve of. These three have known each other for the longest of times, and it was Tom and Nicole's divorce that messed up their dynamic. Apparently, Crow didn't waste any time picking sides. Now, it's no secret that Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman's marriage was once the talk of the town. The Hollywood power couple had tied the knot in 1990 and were seemingly going strong for a decade until their unexpected split in 2001. The reason for their divorce has been the subject of much speculation over the years, but one thing is for sure, it wasn't amicable. Kidman had been close friends with Russell Crowe for years before her split from Cruz, and when the time came for Crowe to pick sides, he chose his friend. At a press event for their movie The Nice Guys, Crowe opened up about his relationship with Cruz and Kidman, revealing that he had known Cruz since 1992 and was good friends with him throughout his marriage to Kidman. When the couple decided to call it quits, though, Russell made the difficult decision to side with Kidman. He even joked that he became a part of the divorce settlement package and went to Kidman. It's clear that Crow valued his friendship with Kidman more than his relationship with Cruz, and he isn't afraid to show it. I mean, it's always tough when two friends get divorced, but when you're a celebrity, things can get even messier. In the case of Cruz, Kidman, and Crow, it's clear that their friendship was put to the test. But in the end, loyalty prevailed. That being said, rumor has it the divorce was rough, and Nicole's friends were super pissed. According to reports, after Cruz and Kidman's divorce, the Mission Impossible star allegedly had Nicole labeled as a suppressive person, which is a term used in Scientology to refer to those who are deemed to be detrimental to the church. This label meant that Kidman could no longer have any contact with the two children they adopted together. Now, we can't say for certain whether Kidman was actually labeled an SP, but if true, it's a deeply troubling situation for anyone, let alone a mother. It's not hard to understand why Russell Crowe, who was a close friend of Kidman's, might have been angry with Cruz over this. And his grudge against Tom sneaked into his work as well. Apparently, Tom and Russell had some issues while on the set of The Mummy. It seems that the tension between Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe didn't get any better with time. In fact, when the two stars teamed up for the 2017 film The Mummy, there were reports of even more drama brewing on set. According to a source who spoke to a tabloid, things weren't all sunshine and rainbows between Cruise and Crowe during filming. The insider revealed that Russell is a loyal guy who never forgave Tom for the way he treated Nicole. And as a result, he froze Tom out of his life. Yikes! The source went on to explain that Crow is very protective of his friend and hasn't been able to stand Tom for years. Now, we still don't know whether there were any specific incidents on the set of The Mummy that led to further tension between the two stars, but it's clear that their history with Nicole Kidman was the only factor at play. But you gotta give it to them. It's always difficult to work with someone when there's underlying tension or bad blood. And it seems like the situation between Cruz and Crow wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Despite their differences, however, the two managed to deliver a solid performance in the film, proving that even in Hollywood, sometimes you just have to put your differences aside and get the job done. And while things might be frosty, Tom is still doing his best to act like nothing's wrong. In fact, he couldn't help himself from raving on about how great it was working with Crow. It's interesting to learn that despite any rumored tension between them, Tom Cruise was genuinely thrilled to finally work with Russell Crowe on The Mummy. In fact, Cruise seemed surprised that they hadn't collaborated sooner. In an interview with Collider, he raved about Crowe, saying, I've known him for a hundred years, and when we were standing on set, I was like, I cannot believe that we haven't done this before. It's pretty cool to hear that even A-list actors like Cruise and Crowe can still get starstruck by each other, right? It's clear that both actors were committed to putting on great performances in The Mummy, 
regardless of any personal issues they may have had in the past. It's refreshing to see that in Hollywood, where egos and drama can sometimes overshadow the work, it's still possible for talented professionals to come together and create something special. And while they did work on this film, there was a long time when they knew each other but never collaborated. So why was that? Has Russell had something against him right from the beginning? Uh, let me give you a little recap of their history. The two have been two of the biggest stars in Hollywood for decades. But despite their long-standing friendship, they had never worked together until The Mummy. That being said, Crow recently revealed that he and Cruz had been waiting for the right project to collaborate on and that they had actually known each other since 1992, when they were introduced by Crow's close friend, Nicole Kidman. All of them were at Naomi Watts' house at a barbecue, and Nicole Kidman, who was Tom's wife back then, introduced the two men in her life. Crow was amazed that, at the time, Cruz was the biggest movie star in the world, and yet he was genuinely interested in Crow's work. What's more, even though things have been frosty between these two, there's still a level of respect that neither has ditched. I mean, even though Tom left Crow's friend, he still managed to be civil with the Mission Impossible star. In an interview with ET Online, Russ expressed his admiration for Cruz's work and shared his excitement about working alongside him. He said that he believes the two have a direct connection that works great for movies, and that he always had a great deal of respect for what Tom does. But the collaboration almost didn't happen. Crow admitted that when Cruz first asked him to be in the movie with him, he hesitated, and Russell had a pretty good reason for it. After all, with Nicole being a contention between the two, there was enough hostility and playing heroes and villains could have ruined it more. But when The Mummy came along, Crow knew it was the right project for them to work on together. He said that the movie was quite complex in terms of what their relationship really was. Anyway, with their mutual respect and undeniable talent, the pairing of Crow and Cruise on screen was a long time coming, but certainly worth the wait. And come to think of it, fans think maybe the two even squeezed some of that hostility out in the fight scenes. I mean, they went absolutely mad during the action scenes. In an interview, the director of the film in which Russell Crowe and Tom Cruise worked together talked about the intensity of a particular scene they filmed. Both actors were committed to doing their own stunts, and the scene required them to physically fight each other for four days straight. According to the director, it was really intense, and there were concerns about potential injuries since neither of them wanted to use a stunt double. They wanted to do it themselves, which added to the challenge of the scene. Looks like they really needed to let all that pent-up frustration out. So from them fighting it out like wild animals to Crow holding grudges against Cruz, this was why Russell Crowe hates Tom Cruise. 